Hello. Welcome to the Evergreen State College. This video is an introduction to the science laboratory safety guidelines that are used in all of Evergreen's science labs. Before working in any science lab on campus, read your laboratory manual or other assigned readings and instructions carefully before the lab. Arrive to labs on time and listen thoroughly to instructions given before, during, and after the lab. Come to the laboratory prepared to perform laboratory experiments or activities. Obtain and bring all personal protective equipment required by the instructor or laboratory guidelines. This may include gloves, goggles, laboratory coats, aprons, and other items. A dress code must be followed while working in labs. Closed-toed shoes must be worn in all science laboratories. Minimize exposed skin. Long pants and sleeves are recommended and may be required for some labs. Pull back and secure long hair. When directed by your instructor, use appropriate personal protective equipment, such as goggles, gloves, and lab coats. Do not wear gloves outside of laboratory spaces. Do not bring food or drink into any laboratory unless it is to be used as part of the laboratory experiment. Do not eat, drink, smoke, vape, chew gum, or apply cosmetics, including hand lotion and lip balm, in any laboratory room. Do not taste anything or put anything into the mouth in the laboratory. Keep hands, writing instruments, and laboratory materials away from face or mouth. Do not bring laboratory chemicals, supplies, or instruments into food safe spaces. Students are not permitted in the laboratory without the supervision or approval of an instructor at any time. Students are also not permitted in the laboratory prep rooms or chemical storage areas without the approval of an instructor. Familiarize yourself in advance with the location and proper use of safety equipment, such as fire alarms, emergency eye washes, safety showers, and phones. Maintain a neat laboratory workspace with work areas and aisles free of personal items. Use provided storage cubbies to keep personal items. Know the location of the nearest exit. Pathways to exit must be clear. Doors and windows to the laboratory space must be closed at all times. Students under the influence of alcohol, drugs, or other intoxicants are not permitted into the laboratory spaces. Due to the particular dangers in the laboratory spaces, minor children are not allowed in the laboratory spaces. Pets are also not allowed in labs. Immediately notify your instructor for assistance if you are injured or if any type of accident, chemical spill, or breakage occurs. All bodily fluids are considered to be potential biological hazards. If a fluid is present in the lab due to injury or accident, only qualified personnel are permitted to clean spills. Students who have specific medical issues or concerns and students who are pregnant or nursing are advised to consult their physician or healthcare provider about potential risks associated with participation in a science laboratory. Such students assume all liability if they decide to remain in the laboratory portion of the class. It is important to follow guidelines when using equipment, supplies, and chemicals. Observe and respect all safety signs on equipment. Avoid direct contact with hazardous chemicals. 
Only use equipment and hazardous chemicals in accordance with their intended purpose. Use care when dealing with laboratory burners, hot plates, and steam generators. Turn such equipment off when not in use. Always handle such equipment as if it were hot, even when you do not see a flame or it appears to be off. Never leave open flames or hot plates unattended. Keep flammable chemicals like ethanol away from open flames or heat sources. Keep laboratory equipment and breakable items away from edges of tables, benches, or countertops. Be alert for sharp or broken objects which may cause injury. Never handle equipment, supplies, or chemicals until you have been given specific information on their use and safety considerations. Participating in laboratory activities may involve handling potentially hazardous chemicals. Safety data sheets, SDS, describe hazards associated with chemicals. You can find the most recent SDS online at manufacturers like Sigma, Aldrich, and Fisher's scientific websites. Ask the staff at the Science Support Center if you need help. Do not attempt to clean up a chemical spill. Notify your instructor immediately in the event of a chemical spill. Dispose of needles, pins, and other sharp objects in an approved sharps container. Dispose of broken glass in a broken glass container. Dispose of other hazardous materials as specified by your instructor. Discard any excess reagents as instructed. Do not return any excess reagents to the stock bottle. Discard of all chemical waste in proper waste container as indicated by your instructor. Never pour any chemicals down the sink or in the trash without explicit permission from your instructor. Clean up after yourself in all science laboratory areas. Clean and return all materials to their proper location. Wash test tubes, beakers, and other glassware. Thoroughly wipe down your laboratory space before and after each exercise. Turn off all gas nozzles and water faucets and turn off and unplug all equipment before leaving the laboratory. Disassemble your experiment setup and leave your laboratory station as you found it. For instance, remove any labels, clamps, tape, string, or other items you have placed on the equipment. Return items that you have used to their storage locations. Sinks are not trash receptacles. Do not dispose of any trash in the sink. Wash your hands with soap and water before you leave the laboratory. No laboratory material is to leave the lab. Thank you so much for watching this safety video.